There's evidence from both HS literature and psoriasis literature that these meds may not work as well with increasing body weight. So in patients who are more obese, we think that those fat cells can sort of promote inflammation. The disease is more resistant to treatment with obesity because it's sort of another thing sort of feeding into the disease and the inflammation. What else is really interesting is like a two-way communication of the inflammation influencing the fat cells, the fat cells influencing the inflammation. So far, we have two studies. They're small. One had 14 patients, one had 30 patients. In the one with 14, almost all of them, like 78% were on treatment for their HS. They both did see improvements. Their HS severity got better and their quality of life that they measured through one of the tools got better. And that one was interesting because when they looked at the improvement in the HS and compared it to the weight loss, the two weren't necessarily dependent on each other. So some people's HS got better even without the weight loss, which like we were saying speaks to this like anti-inflammatory effect that the medications are probably having. And then in the one with the 30 patients, they also saw improvements in quality of life and they saw a decrease in the number of the frequency of their flares from about every eight weeks to every 12 weeks.